here right now, we have three uh, X-ray machines plus one relocatable. Katung one lang na relocatable ang naasa And then we have three X-ray machines. Sir, going back to the controversial issue. Yes. Uh, you said yung OSG na opinion. How would this impact with regards to the ongoing parang may negotiations yata between the owner and the government BOC Manila that there also was this uh, uh, ano yun? Peace and Order Council Resolution? Yes, right. City Tourism Council Resolution and Peace and Order Council yes, Resolution uh, ACY has been offering the use of their uh, land for free no? uh, para diri sa ilahan de, yeah. Honestly, that's a good idea. I'm all for it. But the problem is, the Solicitor General, then Solicitor General Hardelesa, has, and I will read. It has been the OSG's consistent position on behalf of the Bureau of Customs that the MOA with ACY has already been revoked and is therefore of no force or effect in law. True, the revocation is subject of a petition for judicial confirmation of just cause for revocation of agreement. However, the pendency of the said case does not invalidate the revocation of the MOA because the revocation was a valid exercise of the BOC's right under stipulation number one of the Memorandum of Agreement. Remember who is the, o o, the Solicitor General? That is the Statutory Council of the Republic of the Philippines, the lawyer of the government. This is the consistent position on behalf of the Bureau of Customs of the lawyer of the government. The, the MOA has been revoked. Now, as a lawyer, ang unsa lang din ha is imo ang i-prove dapat na grave abuse of discretion ang pag-revoke sa, sa contract. Diba? O naman eh. And ang nag-revoke, na, karaan na na. Commissioner Morales, dugay na siya, dugay na na siya na unsa na panahon, no? So, ako, these are the things sa unsa. Furthermore, ang legal service po sa unsa Bureau of Customs has reiterated the same thing in 2012. This was prepared, signed by the Director for Legal Service and noted with concurrence by then Deputy Commissioner of Revenue Collection Monitoring Group. It also requires that district collector concerned, so whoever it might be here, whether a co, my predecessor, or my successor, to coordinate this matter with the Office of the Solicitor General, no? in case the subject is accepted upon compliance thereof to the requirements of pertinent laws, rules, and regulations. So what did I do? I sought the guidance of our legal service. I wrote to the commissioner and submitted everything, a backgrounder, a stipulation of facts about these things because this is not something I can decide on in my level. One, I am not solicitor general. Number two, I am not a judge. Diba? I cannot say with finality how to treat this because it is pending in court. And I will let our legal service handle the matter. Diba? And let the commissioner use his sound discretion on how to best proceed. So that is, uh, these are the basic facts. Okay. These are the basic facts. Sir, being a Dabawenyo, you're from Davao, right? Yes, sir, Dabawenyo. Okay. ko dire. Sir, ano yung sa tingin nyo na magandang win-win solution to this problem? Okay. As I have submitted to uh, Mayor Sara, uh, and elevated to the office of the commissioner as well. The recommendation of our X-ray here in Davao, you know, and we can use that machine and transfer it in a different area. We will coordinate with BPA. Kung asa nato na siya, pwede magamit it para magamit na na siya. It doesn't matter where it is, basa na siya sa sulod sa custom zone and then, and then we will use it. That is the solution here, di ba? That's the solution. It, ito po, yung pinag-usapan natin ngayon. And that's one relocatable machine. One relocatable machine.